Um, Your Honor, I would um, make the same request with regards to Mr. Martin to be given an opportunity to allow the uh, victims to be present for any sort of um, extraordinary bond hearing we only do in this courtroom. Um, and uh, that would be my request at this time. I'll certainly address other issues moving forward if Your Honor is inclined to want to hear from us further. Mr. Keith, please. Yes, ma'am, Your Honor. Your Honor, Mr. Martin, from my, from what I have been able to find, he has no prior criminal history whatsoever. He is married, he has a wife, he has a very strong support system. They are they have very strong ties to the community, Your Honor. What I've asked Your Honor to consider is that these charges are not uh, the most serious whenever we're coming to you know sexual allegations, they're not being one sex offenses. What we're looking at is is uh, some very serious allegations. However, at this point in time it is a set bond. I would ask Your Honor to consider setting a bond of fifty thousand dollars secure, placing them on pretrial. I think that then at that point in time we would address any and all concerns. The court can certainly issue a protection order for that none of the uh, alleged victims in this case are to have any contact with Mr. Martin, and he would not so do that. We could also put him on electronic monitoring, house arrest, or anything else the court wanted him to do. So that way, to address the concerns that Ms. Gulledge talked about with the community yesterday. Um, Ms. Gulledge, you're asking the bond remain the same.